Good morning, folks. Ohio Gasimas. I am Arashi Nako. I am traveling today. So, unfortunately, once again, if you're listening to this, you're going to have to put up with some noises, a little bit of uh, driving sounds in the background. But uh, I don't have time to edit this and I'm not where my normal editing studio is, which is very primitive at best. And I don't even have that today. I will go back to making my uh, TCAP commentary, and I plan on uh, this coming year uh, doing a few little special things, a little bit of comedy, a little bit of drama, a little bit of everything. However, right now I wanted to talk to everyone about a subject that's affecting us all on YouTube, whether you are one of the big commentators, one of the big channels, one of the small channels, or just a, uh, a viewer, someone who seeks out the, entertain the internet and YouTube for entertainment, such as myself. I am very new to being an uploader. I will never be monetized. Uh, I have a job for my money. My job is monetized. This is a hobby and recreation at the same time for me and entertainment. I'm also somebody who gains most of his entertainment period from uh, YouTube. Uh, it just It's just the way it is. Uh, I don't really watch a lot of television anymore. Television is highly... Uh, uh, advertised, you have commercials all the time. That goes for regular TV, cable TV. The only way you get away from that is streaming to some extent. But with streaming, you got to pay out of pocket. It's certainly not free. And um, and then you have YouTube, which used to be a place where you did experience a level of freedom. Now, I have. Uh, what is it? YouTube Prime? I don't know if that's what it's called. And I don't care to look that up. I got expensive YouTube. The YouTube where you don't have ads, right? But even though I've paid extra money and I have the YouTube ad-free viewing pleasure, come to find out now YouTube is going to be just as highly censored as regular TV used to be back in the day. So in other words, if you want to curse, you can't, because there are people, there are snowflakes out there that don't want to hear bad or naughty words. I've been an adult for a very long time, folks, but uh, I get to tune in to my favorite form of entertainment and be treated like a child. Uh, if you do anything that someone could perceive as harassment, you're not supposed to do that, and your channel will be taken away, your videos will be taken down. If you're monetized, and if this is how you make your money, no longer. No longer, because what they're going to do is they're going to take away your money. Uh, folks, in the TCAP community, we bring awareness to the serious issue of online predators people who would victimize our children and we call attention to specific predators some of whom as I've gone over many times in videos that I've posted there are videos that others post now and we go over the fact that these predators continue to be predators and yeah we call them out we call them out you're gonna come to somebody's home you're gonna come to some 12 year old girl's house while her parents are out and rape her and we're going to call you out on that however apparently now we're not supposed to do that because we might be bullying somebody when I was a kid back in the 70's being an Asian kid in an American community you got picked on sometimes because we had a little thing going on then called the Vietnam War and it was rough sometimes but I survived it and that was real bullying folks 
that was uh, ethnicity shaming at its best. Was that right? Of course it wasn't right. Of course that was messed up. Of course that was wrong. But you know what? I found friends that accepted me for who I was. I eventually got into a school where that was not tolerated. But I, it was verbal. It was just verbal. I got beat up too. But I was able at a certain point to put a stop to it. I was inspired to put a stop to it myself. I think in my case it built character. But I'm not saying it's okay to bully. I'm saying it's not okay to bully. And what I'm saying is, is that calling out people on YouTube is not bullying. Now, if you call out somebody's religion or politics constantly, you may be making an attempt to bully. If, but what the other person, the person who thinks they're being bullied, all they have to do is ignore you. I couldn't ignore the other kids when I was a kid in school quite so easily. But in our modern day society, if people are saying on a YouTube channel that they don't like you, if they're saying that you're fat or you smell bad, or if they're saying that you're a child predator, whether they have proof of any of this or not, you can stop watching them. As long as they don't come after your family, as long as they don't come after your name or your job, leave it alone. Stop crying. Dry your eyes and get on with life. Because what we're seeing is, we're seeing the other side of perhaps an attempt to do something good. Maybe the current YouTube algorithms, if that's even what you call it, maybe the current way YouTube does stuff was an attempt to stop people from being mean to other people. And maybe that's a good thing. Maybe. I don't think so. I do not think so. But let me, let's me let assume for a moment it was meant to do something good. The results are censorship. The results are the death of freedom of speech. And there always should be a balance. No, it's not okay to walk up to somebody and punch them in the face. That's a crime. That's either called assault or battery, depending on what jurisdiction you're in. But going up to somebody and telling them you don't like them, or calling them an idiot, that is an opinion. It can get out of hand. I could, I could see a scenario where that would be the wrong thing to do. Maybe you shouldn't run up, maybe an adult shouldn't run up to a child and call them an idiot, or a retard, or something. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. But you know what I also think? An adult shouldn't go to a child's house and try to have sex with them. I don't agree with that either. We in this community, in the TCAP community, what we are doing is we are calling out people who are child predators. I'm not talking about a courtroom setting. I already did a video about that. I'm talking about people who on camera, on national TV, were child predators. And this is not a legal forum. We are not imposing restrictions on these people. We are not sending Lauren Armstrong back to jail. What we're doing is, we're making fun of Lauren. We're calling him out. Him and Dustin McFetridge and Al, the list goes on and on. We are calling these people out for something that they did. In each and every case, all they have to do is don't watch TCAP videos that talk bad about them. Any of these predators can just tune out, tune out of the, uh, the, the TCAP discussion and reaction channels, and then they'll be fine. Hell, the people in their own communities have probably forgotten what they did. We never will. We don't want them to offend again, and many of them have. We don't want others to offend in the future. And unfortunately, many do. But all we can do is what we can do. We're not the punisher. We're not a vigilante group that's going to go out and actually violate somebody's rights and actually harm somebody. We're going to call you out 
And then, as I always say, we're going to focus a spotlight on your activities. So if YouTube has a problem with that, I guess i got a problem with YouTube. I'm not going to change my content as some content providers, as some YouTubers have done. Not necessarily the TCAP community. That's not the only community of which I'm a part of. Uh, some people have decided to tone it down. Some people have decided to not use phrases and not use bad words and to go easy. There are YouTube channels that, before all this came down, well, I can't really judge Lorne and I feel bad looking at Lorne and Lorne cried in court and it made me feel bad and it made me question what we do here. I don't have any questions about what we do in TCAP except can we do it some more and when's the next video coming out where we do a whole lot of it? That's my question. I am very entertained by the world of TCAP. I have been since To Catch a Predator from NBC's Dateline was on the air. I'm still a fan of it. I still watch old episodes. And there are providers out there who make my day bearable. The great Bapsby is one of them. Check her channel out, please. Look under the great Bapsby. You'll find it. Link in the description. It makes my day. It, uh, it makes uh, the nights that I'm working go by quickly and it's entertaining. It is about an issue I'm very passionate about. I was inspired by the great Babsby to start doing some of it myself. And I enjoy the heck out of it. I only have a few subs. But the few subs I have are wonderful people. Very encouraging people. And I'm not going to stop. If my channel, which means nothing to anybody, I'm not even a blip on the radar, if they take me down, I don't know, I may come back again. If I'm prevented from doing that, if I'm shut off, cut off from YouTube completely, I'm not going to stop being who I am. I am not going to adjust how I adjust my uploads. So. YouTube will be nice to me. I gotta do that for my job. I gotta do that for society. I gotta stand there in Walmart and have some jackass in front of me either abuse his kids or abuse his wife or abuse the poor teller who's trying to be helpful and I cannot knock his block off. Although I would like to, I certainly cannot because I don't feel like getting arrested by the police. I am not going to allow YouTube to police me in the same way. We are not harming anybody on this forum. We are not truly bullying people. We are engaging in our freedom of expression, which freedom isn't free, folks. I know you all have heard that before. Well, it ain't free. To be free, sometimes you got to put up with bullshit. Sometimes you have to say things that aren't nice to people, and sometimes the authorities are going to come down and slam you for what you believe in. And it's a test to that level, that strength of your belief, whether you stand up to it and stand up strong or just wilt away like the rest of the snowflakes that run this world. Well, folks, I'm not going to. I'm going to continue my content until they shut me down. I doubt they will because I'm small. But I'm going to keep it up. And if it becomes impossible to upload, I'll let the few subs I have know about it, and maybe I'll find something else to do. Maybe I'll find another forum. Maybe there are YouTube alternatives out there that exist where I can say the F word and not worry that you're offending people. And the F word is fuck, by the way, in case anybody was interested. But I'm done, folks. I'm sorry about the nature of this rant. I'm really not sorry. It's another thing I feel strongly about. I plan on uh, doing some more uploads, doing some more content when I have finished my travels for the season. And um, hopefully the coming year makes a great year for us all. Y'all have a good one. As always, I am Arashi Nako and I'm signing out.